day after day for the last 13 plus years Ramesh and Swati and their team have been working relentlessly with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of optimism, a lot of hope in solving this problem. The purpose of this evening is really to gather a few of you who are business leaders in India to have a frank and open discussion about what ails India in the context of what Janagraha is doing. The challenge for the country is uh, how do you go uh, from uh, a system that is providing urban services to let us say 180 million people uh, to servicing 600 million uh, in a period of 20 years. This whole idea and this approach of coming to City Systems for us is a journey that started more than 12 years ago. We realized very early on that if we had to go beyond anecdotal successes and one-off successes, if we wanted to look at sustainability and scale, then we needed to actually look at a much deeper way by which we engage with our work on transformation. We're going to build a Chicago in terms of real estate every year if the Indian GDP grows at 7%. And how are we going to build this if we don't get our urban planning and our urban design systems right? One of the things that resonated again very strongly with us was building the capacities of our city administrators. Large part of their early career is spent in rural settings. And then as they become more senior and come to urban India, they're actually lost. You can imagine how inaccurate and how in some ways unresponsive our political system is if we are getting margins of victories of 5 or 10 percent when we have spurious, dubious voters that may be 20, 30, 40 percent. So transparency is clearly critical. Um, you know, we have large budgets, you know, Bombay's budget is almost touching 30,000 crores now, but the data comes out three, four years late there's no one really analyzing this data. A city like Delhi hasn't even passed public disclosure law. Accountability, the same way financial analysts are evaluating companies, we ought to be holding our cities accountable. As we all know, India is going to urbanize very rapidly. I think sometimes we make a mistake that we think only rural development is important. I really admire the work Ramesh and Swati have done in Janagra. The Godrej Group uh, supports it and we would like to continue to do so. Earlier this month we signed a multi-year donor agreement where we will be supporting Janagra in their work for a period of four years both at the corpus level and also in bringing some of the initiatives to select cities where the Tata Group companies are present. They are focused on actually solving problems on the ground rather than just talking about them. Janagraha is our largest uh, investee in India. We're very, very proud uh, of the work that they've done and it's been an incredibly rewarding partnership as you've seen. 